Today we are out at the P-40 at George W. Bush Air Park. This particular P-40 was commandeered by Lieutenant Colonel Robert Muck Brown. He acquired this aircraft and it went on a pedestal at uh, England Air Force Base. It was one of the first aircraft to be mounted on the pedestal at England Air Force Base back in the early 80s. Once England Air Force Base closed down, this aircraft was pulled off the pedestal, taken to Pope Air Force Base, where it sat on the pedestal from 92 to 2006. Then it was removed from the pedestal there and then brought here to uh, Moody Air Force Base to be the centerpiece and focal point of the George W. Bush Air Park. Through the time that the Flying Tigers were in World War II, they were credited with 678 aerial victories. There were 19 individuals that became aces out of uh, World War II flying the P-40. In 1940, the P-40 was price tagged at $45,000. That kind of sounds like a lot of money for that time, but uh, it still it was an archaic aircraft when it first came to the American Volunteer Group to begin with. So a lot of people did not expect them to do a lot with the aircraft. But Claire Chenault trained Navy pilots and Army pilots that had transferred into the American Volunteer Group and they made a name for themselves. Their first major victory was December 1941 when we had bombers that tried to attack uh, the base where uh, the Flying Tigers were. Eight bombers were shot down and the ninth one limped back talking about aircraft with shark's teeth on them. The original teeth design that is put on the P-40 now was done by Charles Bond. He was over at a missionary's house having dinner and saw an Australian magazine. It was an Australian aircraft that had teeth on it. He's like, I think that looks pretty cool. I wanna put that on my aircraft. So he goes back to Kunming and he paints the teeth on his aircraft. Claire Chenault thought it was pretty cool and all the rest of the guys started putting the teeth on their aircraft. So when Charles Bond found out that China had commissioned Walt Disney to design an emblem for their aircraft, he did not know that they tagged them as the Flying Tigers. So in April of 42, he went to the post office to pick up all the stickers that were gonna go on the fuselage and he was kind of disappointed when he opened the package and saw tigers with wings flying out of a V. But they still put the stickers on the aircraft. A lot of the aircraft did not put the V on the aircraft, they would only put the tiger. If you look at the fuselage of the P-40, this particular one has a white band the three squadrons had the bands painted on the fuselage that basically let the other squadrons know what aircraft belonged to which one. If you also look on the wingtips of this uh, P-40, we have what looks like a U.S. star on this side. When another country looks at our aircraft, they can tell that it's a U.S. aircraft. If you look on the other wingtip, it has a Chinese star. That is their emblem that is put on their aircraft to identify them as Chinese aircraft. The American Volunteer Group started flying the P-40 in the fall of 41 and flew it up till when the uh, 23rd Fighter Group took control of the American Volunteer Group and it came the 23rd Fighter Group when you had the 74th, the 75th, and the 76th. The 23rd Fighter Group continued flying the P-40 up till 1944. 